Hi, I'm Alemi from Yayo Botanica. Welcome back. So great to see you all. Thanks for sharing us and coming back. If you're new, welcome. I want to shout out, shout out, shout out. Pew, 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 pew. All my people from Morocco. Woo Thank you for joining us. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, we're www.yeyeo. And I'm Alemi, and we're a spiritual wellness supplier, which is why I do videos about all things spiritual. Today, hmm, I'm going to do a video about porcupine quills. Who would have thought that porcupine quills have a lot of magical and mystical powers. So let's see how you too can use porcupine quills in your daily life. So I love to use porcupine quills, but very specific for specific types of work. And porcupines, I want to just give a little two seconds about porcupines and why they're so good, so delicious for spiritual and magical uses. I want to say that if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications, and in the description box below, become a part of my exclusive YouTube family list. And if you've used porcupine quills in the past, comment below. So porcupines, when we, when we think about a porcupine, and um, if you notice, their, their um, quills kind of lay down, right? But when they feel threatened or when they get into an aggressive mode, boom, they stand up, right? And so I would say that people are kind of like that. We seem very mild-mannered, but if you kind of poke us or make us feel threatened, you know, we're standing up and we're getting aggressive, right? So porcupines overall, they're anywhere from 18 inches to two and a half feet. They're found... Um, all over the world. They are kind of in the rodent fam family, but some people also associate them with beavers, hedgehogs, those kinds of, of smaller animals. They're vegetarians, um, and they are known for eating tree bark, vegetables, roots, things that are low-lying. Low uh, there are some species that will climb a tree, but it's really not the, the biggest thing that they're known for. Um, but on a porcupine, you will find that they have over 30,000 quills on just one of these little small creatures. <laughs> and then they also have smaller quills. So today, here's a, some big quills, right? They come eight inches, you find them in um, two inches, eight inches, they even go sometimes up to 10 to 12 inches long. But these are like spears. They're very, very dense. You can bend them and break them, but it takes some effort. The tip is like a pin. The tip is something that you could use as a weapon. It's very dangerous. <laughs> Um, this part is the part that's attached inside of the, the porcupine, and this part is the part that comes out. The porcupines are really great swimmers. They are, they are very intelligent. They're fast learners. They have great balance, and as I mentioned before, that they climb. So if we think about these kinds of things when we're thinking about doing spiritual work or any kind of manifestation work, which is what spiritual work is, um, any kind of intention work, which is what spiritual work is. And you can use their quills for a lot of purposes. You can use their quills to write, right? You can use their quills to write something. You can use their quills in defensive magic. You can use it like a pin. You can use it to, to go through something. You can use it to poke something. You can use it as a stirrer. As I mentioned before, it has a very sharp point. You can use it to poke, stick, or protrude something, right? You can add it, especially the small ones. These are really, really great 
to add to, they're very maybe difficult to see on the screen. Let me just put them here. They may be a little difficult to see on the screen, but they are good for um, adding to amulets, defensive amulets. Porcupine quills overall, in my experience, has not been something to use for luck unless you're using protection, banishing, bring luck, all in one exercise. But only for luck, haven't really seen it used for that. I particularly like to use it like this, where you stick it through and weave it through, right? So this is just a quick example but you can use it for many, many purposes. And so for you, I hope you try using some porcupine quills because they are extremely effective. Remember, if you want to poke, prod, protect, defend, all of the things that the porcupine uses it for, in addition to the porcupine is intelligent, is swift, and is protective. Think about all those things together Try using it with your work and let me know how it goes. And see you next time. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video, like us, share us with others, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications, and come visit us in the store. Check us out on all social media. See you next time.